In 1886, an American woman invented the automatic dishwasher. Josephine Cochran built a motorized wheel with wire compartments for dishes, turning inside a copper tank filled with soapy boiling water. It was a hit with restaurants and hotels. But it wasn't until the 1950s that affordable dishwashers for home kitchens came on the market. Building a dishwasher starts with a watertight container called the tub. Some high-end models have stainless steel tubs. The rest have tubs made of molded plastic, usually polypropylene. Workers screw two pairs of plastic wheels to each side of the tub. They'll support the sliders on which the upper dish rack moves. The lower dish rack rolls along the bottom of the tub. This steel frame helps solidify the tub. They affix a steel plate at the bottom to shield the plastic from the heat of the motor. Then they attach steel legs to the frame. Here they install a rubber reservoir called the sump. It collects the water that flows to the bottom of the tub. They screw in a two-part ring to hold the sump in place. The heating element is a ceramic insulated iron cable. This filter traps food particles washing off the dishes. After fitting an O-ring seal to make the sump leak-proof, they secure the heating element by screwing ceramic insulators to the protruding connectors. Now for the polypropylene wash arms. This model has one at the bottom with a tower that juts out for a larger spray span and a second wash arm at the top. The motor pumps clean water directly to the bottom wash arm and through this flexible hose to the top wash arm. Once they connect the hose, they spin the wash arm to make sure there's no obstruction. Meanwhile, workers connect key components to the dishwasher's circuit board. This metal box is the timer. It controls the wash and dry cycles. For example, it activates this green cam lever to trigger the white lever to open the detergent dispenser at the right moment in the wash cycle. The detergent dispenser is located on a plastic panel that will line the dishwasher's door. They call this panel the inner door. This seal will prevent water from leaking out and also provides some soundproofing. A press runs over the inner door, driving in the seal evenly all around. Now they screw the inner door to the outer door. The assembled door hooks onto hinges at the base of the tub. This machine presses the hook and hinge together so that the door doesn't come unhinged. The dishwasher's motor is relatively quiet because it uses an inherently low noise induction drive design. The white machine attached to the motor is a food disposer. It grinds up food particles so that they don't clog the drain. The last technical step is to connect the various wires. Before applying the finishing touches, workers conduct a seal test. They flush each tub with water to check for leaks. In this portable dishwasher, workers install cement blocks as a counterweight so the washer won't tip forward when you open the door. And because a portable usually sits in full view, it also needs sides and a top. The top is decorative laminate on medium density fiberboard. They screw it to what's called the wrapper, a three-sided panel made of painted steel that covers the sides and back. A clean look to go with your clean dishes. <laughs>